My name is Dr. Kafo Chidumeje, CEO at Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, convener, traitor town, the Lupus Day. Okay. My name is Dr. Kafo Chidumeje, CEO at Dr. King Foundation Nigeria, convener, traitor town, the Lupus Day. Okay. Um, two days ago, I had this uh, very special patient. Patient, actually. Uh, a man and a lady was brought in the Siena bus and uh, the position they, they were in we were tied with a rapper and uh, the, the, the guy was behind the girl so I already suspected what the problem was so uh, there is this sexual position we call spooning so they were actually having sex the girl should be around 22, 23 years old and the man uh, was about uh, 20, uh, 32 years old so they were in the position we call spooning a special sexual position we call spooning that means in this position the man is actually behind the girl and the intercourse is actually through the vagina so uh, they were they've been they've been dating for like uh, three years and uh, this very moment this, that very moment morning they were dating, they were having sex and uh, at a point the the, the girl reached orga- orgasm and uh, usually the orgasm became quite very painful for both the girl and the guy and uh, as the guy wasn't trying to pull out it was difficult to pull out so as usual they called uh, their pastor who came and said uh, that uh, uh, the girl was married to a mermaid so the mermaid did mago on her and that was why they couldn't pull out so when they came i took their history and uh, i injected the girl with a uh, uh, dose of anesthesia uh, after coming her down and then some pain reliever some pain relief and also gave the guy some pain relief and uh, when the girl came down we pulled off everything in fact they were discharged after giving them just little antibiotics very cheap antibiotics and vitamin C so they are home now and I, was, I reassured them that they can continue their relationship even though I know definitely there's going to be a problem so but now I don't want to talk about what exactly happened to them what happened to them is what we call penis capitus penis captivus penis captivus uh, that is what it is called so now this penis captivus is uh, where there is uh, uh, the muscles of the vagina clamped down severely that is ca- clamped down seriously on the penis preventing the man from withdrawing now uh, this this particular condition is common with people that have prior history of vaginismus so now your question will be what is vaginismus okay now uh, coming to vaginism vaginismus simply means uh, involuntary muscle spasm of the vagina preventing uh, sexual intercourse or any form of penetration inside the vagina penetration that means whether it is tampoon or speculum or even finger during digital vaginal examination now, this vaginismus is of primary and secondary. The primary one means uh, a situation where it normally happens in young people or elderly people that, have, that are too religious. So there has never been any penetration of the vagina in the past. Then uh, in the in the secondary, secondary means there have been penetration in the past, but the, the, the lady now underwent an experience that made the penetration become difficult. So the next thing now is the risk factors. What are the risk factors for vaginismus? Remember, we are going into vaginismus because I said vaginismus are the candidates for penis captivus. So the risk factors for vaginismus include um, Past history of epistotomy, especially for, sec- for people that have secondary vaginismus. The next one is uh, sexual assault. Next one is vaginitis. Vaginitis is maybe from infl- inflammation of the vagina, from candidiasis or dermatitis. And then uh, endometriosis is also implicated as a risk factor for vaginismus. So now, uh, this vaginismus, the next question is, what are, what, are, what are implicated? Well, the muscles that are implicated are mostly the muscles of the pelvic floor. There's a muscle we call levato ani muscle. This levato ani muscle, what it does is, it is there is of two, two, two major types there. The, 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 the pubo rectalis and the pubo coccygeus. They are, they, are, they are more like the diaphragm of the pelvic floor you know the diaphragm you know what it does is it prevents the chest organs like the heart and lungs from falling into the abdomen so likewise the pelvic floor is more like the diaphragm of the pelvis it prevents the organs of the pelvis the the ovary the rectum the womb from falling down so now this pubo coccygeus and pubo rectalis muscles they are the muscles of the pelvic floor so in penis cavity 
captivus, in penis captivus, this pubo rectalis and pubo cosidus contracts intensely. It contracts intensely, thereby preventing the penis from actually pulling out. Uh -huh. So and the uh, and the, but, uh, then in uh, in, uh, in 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 vaginismus, this levator and eye muscles, that is the pubo coccygeus and pubo rectalis, are also implicated. But the contraction here now becomes intensely very painful, very very painful, and uh, they actually prevent the penis from actually going in. Another muscle that is also implicated is bulbo cavernosus muscle. That one is entry muscle. That one is a muscle that lines the mouth of the vagina. So that one will even prevent you from going in at all completely. So these three muscles, bulbo cavernosus, bulbo coccygeus, and bulbo rectalis, they are implicated in vaginismus. They are the muscles that are responsible for preventing uh, entry into the vagina. So now there are classes of this. There are classifications. So let me now classify vaginismus for you. In classification of vaginismus, uh, we have the first degree. In the first degree, there is a muscle spasm. That is when you want to have sex. There is muscle spasm of the pelvic floor. A spasm of the pelvic floor preventing you from penetrating. But when you calm the person down, you can the person glasses and you penetrate. Remember, these muscles are involuntary. The second degree, there is a, 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 a spasm of the pelvic floor. But when you calm the person down, it, the, the, the person will not relax. In the third degree, there is spasm of the pelvic floor. But there is also, in addition, raising of the buttock. That means when you want to penetrate, the person will be raising her buttock. More like pushing you away, raising the buttock. Uh -huh. So in the fourth degree, there is spasm of the pelvic floor, elevation of the buttock, but now the person now starts closing her thigh uh -huh. and, uh, and, uh, uh, and retracting, closing her thigh and retracting. In the fifth degree, there is spasm of the pelvic floor, there is retraction, there is closing of, of the thigh, but in addition, there is also... Uh, 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 signs of sympathetic overdrive like hyperventilation, uh, aggression, even loss of consciousness just because you want to have sex with the person. So, in a, in a, in a, so in, in, in a, in a, as an advice, when you have penis captivus, the advice I have is to start romancing the person, just start afresh and start romancing the person, make all effort to calm the person and cause relaxation. Don't be anxious. Don't allow anxiety to set in, which is the normal thing that will come in fear. Because the more you inflict fear, the more you try to force it out, the more it will hold you down and you again to end up injuring yourself and the lady. Keep romancing the person while you call for help. When you now call for help, they will take you to the hospital. In most cases, even before you get to the hospital, you will be released. Thanks and God bless.